Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we'll be doing my February TV on. Let's get going. I think it's pretty well for January, even though most of them are in audiobooks, but only because I am doing some kind of challenges for audiobooks, but um, February is going to be a little bit easier because I am currently doing a challenge that's going to take quite some time. So I don't really know how to do this challenge because like filming it is going to take forever and you probably won't see it. I'm guessing springtime to be honest. <laughs> so yeah, so um, let's get going. So the said challenge book is Remembrance of Things Past by Marcel Pulis. By Marcel Pulis. So as you can see she has been well loved. Like everything is like fading. This is a library book, so I'm not surprised people just don't know how to take care of a book. Like it's not that hard, come on. So I really don't know how to summarize this for you just because I never heard of it before, but I really don't know what how to give you a summary. So we got our hand in that in Google. So basically this volume one is about how the author recorded its narrator's experiences as he grows up, falls in love, and lives through the First World War. So, that is what this book is about. And honestly, I don't know how to feel about it yet. So, it is really, really slow. I have been losing track sometimes, but... I have just finished, uh, like, I don't know how to explain it, like, I have finished volume one, in a sense, or like, book one, because book one is Swan's Way, and I guess the second volume is Within a Budding Grove, like the second book, so, Swan's Way was kind of boring, to be honest, but I will have my thoughts later, so I am on Within a Budding Grove, or company, actually. Am I? What page am I on? Well, it's been so long. So yeah, I am in Swan... So I am in Combre of Swan's Way. Swan Way is volume one. This is confusing. I don't know how to explain this book. <laughs> but anyway, let's move on to less confusing things. So my next book is So Let Them Bird by Camilla Cole. And there's nothing that Fallon won't do for her sister. Fred and Vincent can channel the power of the gods. Five years ago, she is used to her divine magic to eliminate her island from its enemies, the dragon riding English Empire. But now, at 17, Farron is all powered up with no wars to fight. She is a legend to her people and a nuisance to her neighbors. When she is forced to attend an international peace summit, Farron expects that she will perform tricks like a trained pet and then go home. She doesn't expect her older sister, Elara, forming an unprecedented bond with an enemy dragon, or the gods claiming that the only way to break this bond is to kill her sister. As Farron's desperation to find another solution takes her down a dark path, and Elara discovers the shocking secrets of the heart of the Elanglish Empire, each must make difficult choices that will shape the other's lives, as well as the fate of their world. I am excited for this one, it looks so fun. And the colors is really, really pretty. I think it's so vibrant and really nice. I like this a lot. So my next book, it honestly reminds me of Aladdin and Jafar, just because of how the book has been illustrated. That is A Drop of Vanda by Sanjini Patil. So look at this cover, isn't this she beautiful? I love the green. Like, it reminds me of Jafar, doesn't it? And also at the back, I just noticed the back, like, look at that. That is amazing. What is the, what up the dust jacket on? I've never seen it. Oh, that's beautiful. This is beautiful. I love it. Purple is my favorite color, and I never thought purple and green would go so well. So, let's see what's about. All monsters and heroes have been getting. This is mine. 16-year-old Man Xian is no stranger to monsters. She has been running from them for years. From beasts who roam the jungle to the king's army, who force the people, the Naga, to scatter to, to the ends of the earth. To the ends of the earth. 
You may think the kingdom's famed holy temples atop the flowing mountains where Manisha is now a priestess would be safe, but you would be wrong. Seventy-year-old Precious is a famed slayer of monsters, one of the king's most prized warriors and a frequent visitor to the flowing temples. For every monster that the slayer kills, years are added to his life. You might think such a powerful warrior could do whatever he wants, but true power lies with the king. Tra tired of after years of fighting, Prayush wants nothing more than a peaceful, respectable life. When Prayush and Manisha meet each, meet, each sees in the under the possibility to chart a new path. And unfortunately, the king is powerful, have other plans, and Temple Visitor sexually assaults Manisha and pushes her off the mountain into a pit of vipers. A month later, the king sends Prayush off to kill one last monster, a powerful Nagin, who has been turned men to stone, before he will consider granting the slayer his freedom. Except Manisha doesn't die. Despite the hundreds of snake bites covering her body and the venom through her veins, she rises from the pit more powerful than ever before, with heightened senses, armor-like skin, and blood that can turn people to stone. And Prayush doesn't know it, but the monster he has been sent to kill is none other than the girl he wants to marry. Wow, that is tough love, literally. <laughs> And look at the map. The map is so detailed. Like, it's so beautiful. I hope you can see it. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I love it. I love when there's like maps that are so detailed. So this is really, really beautiful. So those are my books. So family, as you can see, it's not much because I really want to focus on that challenge with that big book that I have by my list. So... Yeah, I don't know how to feel about the book yet. <laughs> also, so even though I, yeah, I have three books for February, I will be reading most of it as audiobooks as well. So, you have a lot of book content coming, and I'm excited. So, yeah. But otherwise, uh, let me know what you are reading in February, and please like, comment, subscribe, so you'll be notified every time I post. And I will see you on my next one. Bye!